In this video, we'll take our steady state model into a transient model. This video assumes you already have a steady state model. You have built it following some of the other videos. Maybe your model looks like this. Maybe it looks different. On the left, you see the file. We've already run the model. We're satisfied with our flow budget. We have a conceptual model shown in the data tree. And we have our GIS layers, period. The steady state has already been calibrated. Note that the assigned aquifer parameters are the result of this calibration. In the transient historical model, we use this to compare simulated and observed groundwater levels. We'll be simulating 2014 through 2022. Your years may be the same, they may be different. Our observed period, where we're comparing observed and simulated groundwater levels, takes place between 2020 and 2022. Why do we add the extra years? This is called a ramp up period. This allows simulations to smooth into new conditions. For this time, we'll be using average monthly recharge rates and river stages. The first thing we'll do is go to File and Save As with a different name so that we always have a steady state model to go back to. I'll call this transient class. Okay. Now we'll go to Modflow, Global Options. Under the model type, we'll choose transient we are going to uncheck the starting heads equal to grid top elevations. And now we'll go into stress periods. Here we see one stress period for the steady state model. We want 98. We want to use dates and times. and we want to uncheck the starting point as the steady state. You'll note that the times here begin in 1900 and it's daily. We have a CSV file prepared with monthly time steps that we'll be using. What we'll do here, these are the monthly time steps beginning in 2014. We're going to copy all of these and paste them into Modflow. Now we have 98 stress periods. The start column lists the first date of each stress period. The length lists the number of days and the number of time steps lists the number of time steps for each period. We are using water levels for once a month, so we only use model results once per month. Let's go to the end, make sure it's all here. The end may have a weird number in day, that's okay. Look for the triangle, this is actually the last step. and then click OK.